Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a title like this one in After Effects. So to get started I'm going to create a new composition using the HDTV 1080 preset and the duration is going to be 5 seconds. I'm going to call the composition title and I've already imported the picture that I'm going to use as the background so I will just drop it in here and then I'm going to drag this and press shift to scale it down proportionally until it fits the composition. Right now I'm going to set this to 100 so that I can see the actual size of the title when I create it and then I'm gonna create a new shape layer. So right now I'm going to add a rectangle and I'm going to add a fill and also a stroke. So for the stroke width, I'm going to use 10 and I'm going to keep it white. And for the fill, I'm going to use a bit darker shade of red like this. And I'm going to set the opacity to 20% so that it's barely visible. And right now we need to animate the size of this rectangle. So I'm going to uncheck constraint proportions and I'm going to create a keyframe. The value is going to start at 0 and right here at the 22nd frame I want to set the size to 400 by 250 like that. And at the 7th frame I want to set this value to 1 and this value to 250. So this way the height will animate to 250 and the width will animate to 1 and then the width will animate from 1 to 400 with the height at 250. So we get this. Right now we need to make the same thing right here at the end so I'm going to select the first keyframe which is now going to be the last one. I'm going to press Control C to copy it and then with the size property selected I'm gonna move the playhead to the end of the composition and press Control V to paste the keyframe. Now I'm gonna select the second keyframe and press Control C to copy it and this gap right here is seven frames so I'm going to press page up one two three four five six seven times and then I'm going to paste the second keyframe. Now I'm going to select the last keyframe and copy it and the gap right here is 15 frames. So we need to press shift and page up to move 10 frames backwards and then page up one, two, three, four, five times and now we can paste this keyframe. So just to check that we did this right and then I'm gonna select all of these keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and now you can open the graph editor. So right here, make sure that you're editing the speed graph by right clicking and then we're going to adjust these two graphs right here. So we're gonna take this handle and drag it like that. And then we're gonna take this handle and drag it like that. So we have created two opposites. And right now, if I preview this, you can see what that does. The next step is gonna be to rename this to main shape so that we can stay organized. I'm going to rename the picture to background and right now I'm gonna create a new shape layer and I'm gonna place it underneath the main shape. I'm going to rename it to second shape. And right now we need to add two rectangles and we want to take the playhead and take it to the last keyframe of the opening animation and then I'm going to trim the second shape so that it starts right here and with the first keyframe of the ending animation I'm gonna set the playhead right there and I'm going to trim the second shape so that it ends right here. So right now I'm going to set the size of both of these uh, to be exactly the same as the main shape. So 400 by 250 like this. And right now I'm going to add a fill and also a stroke. 
So I'm gonna set the size of the stroke to 6 and I'm gonna change the color to be something like this. And let me turn off this main shape so that we can see what we're doing. Then I'm going to set the color of the fill to black and I'm going to set the opacity to 30%. And right now we need to add merge paths to this shape. So I'm going to add it and I'm going to set the mode to exclude intersections. So right now if I change the size of the second rectangle you can see what's happening but this part of the stroke won't be visible the only thing that's gonna be visible is the fill right here and these two parts of the stroke so let me turn on the main shape and I wanna set a keyframe right here with the original value for the size of the second rectangle path I'm going to press U so that I can only see this keyframe and right now I want to move to the end of this layer and set a keyframe with this value. Then I want to press shift and page up once to move 10 frames backwards and then page up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So right now the gap between these two keyframes is going to be 15 frames. And right here I want to set this size to 250. So this is going to be a square. And as you can see the stroke is visible and the black fill is barely visible. There's just a subtle difference between these two. So right now we made this. As you can see, it slowly animates in to a square, and then it bounces out. So to really make it bounce, I'm going to select all of these keyframes and then hit F9 to easy ease them. Then I'm going to open the graph editor and I'm just gonna do this. So right now, if I preview this part, you can see that it actually bounces out and then it animates out completely. And the final step is gonna be adding some text. So right here, I wanna set the playhead to this keyframe where we have a square. And then I wanna select the type tool and I'm going to add some text. So right now, I wanna increase the size of the first word so that it's as big as the word tutorial and I want to slightly increase the size of the second word which says effects and then I want to select this and open the align panel and align this to the center of the composition so I need to make this a bit bigger like this and make the word tutorial slightly bigger and then I'm just going to select this word I'm gonna change the line spacing like this so I'm gonna align this to the center one more time and right now we want to place this on top of the main shape and then we want to select the main shape and press ctrl D to duplicate it um, we're going to rename it to text mat so it's gonna define the areas in which the text is going to be visible. We're going to set the track mat to alpha mat and as you can see the text layer picks up the opacity of the fill of this um, rectangle path right here. So we need to set it back to 100 and we need to delete the stroke and right now as you can see the text is being revealed by this shape. So now if I preview this we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.